All right, it's time for me to unearth this here. And here we go. I'm going to need a pot holder. Let's open this up. And look at that. That looks nice so far. Now these potatoes are nice and soft. Potatoes are nice and soft in here. Okay. All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. We are going to take our milk. Now, we're going to need one cup of milk, right? Yep, one cup of milk. And pour that in. Now, I use skim milk. I love skim milk. So, that's what I'm going to use. One cup. And pop that in there. And you're probably wondering, this is a potato corn chowder. Where the heck's the corn? Well, I'm going to use canned corn today. No different than using any other kind of corn. You can use fresh if you want, but most of the time you're going to be making this during the cooler months. You're not going to have the corn available. So, you either use frozen or, or canned. And if you use frozen, you're going to add two minutes to the cooking time. Okay? And we only need a cup. Ooh, and as I said, we only need a cup. <laughs> it's about half of this. Okay? And I'm going to let that come to a simmer. And then that's going to simmer for about five minutes. Three to five minutes. All right, now that this is simmered for good five minutes, good three to five minutes, you're, that does not look like something that I'd eat. I'm going to make it into something I'd eat. The key to this is to take this out. You want to make sure you take out the bay leaf because bay leaves like this are really unedible. But they put, they give a lot of flavor to it. You want to take about one cup of everything. You know, the liquid and the solids out. And we're going to blend it. Now, you might want to use a... You can use a regular blender if you'd like, or you can use a stick blender. Oh, whoops. Wrong plug. There we go. Awesome. All right. Blend it until it's nice and smooth. And this will add our flavor to this. This will add our body to the dish. All right. Okay, now we're good to go. Pop this in there. And I keep forgetting. No, not even. I'm, I'm surprised. No salt, no pepper. But if you want, you can add a little bit to taste. Okay. And then you're just going to mix this up. And it gets so creamy. So good. Look at this. Oh. Look at that. That is nice and creamy and smooth and oh, so good. Now at this point, I'm done. This recipe is done but you know you can do tons of things with this I'm gonna serve this out into a bowl turn off the temperature now I almost forgot I'm gonna throw in a little bit of cayenne pepper if I can find it over here. Here it is. Now if you want to use regular jalapenos, 
I suggest throwing them in your cup or in your blender before you blend it. And then you just so you don't have big pieces of jalapeno in there. But cayenne pepper works. Like four shakes, three, four shakes, just to taste. We'll mix that up. I like my food sp spicy, so four shakes works for me. And here we go. Oh, that looks absolutely amazing right here. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. And that is our meal. Now, there are loads of different ways that you can make this recipe. You can add, you can add meat to this. If you want to make this a meat dish, you can add ham, which works great with this. You can add almost any kind of seafood to this. It would work great. Um, if you use clams though, a little teeny bit of a um, variation on this recipe, take out the sherry, throw in clam juice instead. You can add chicken to this. Um, for some serving ideas, you can put this in a bread bowl. Sometimes they're sold in supermarkets, just as the bread bowl. It's a um, sourdough bowl. It's like about this big. And it's got, it's basically hollowed out. And what you do, if you can't find the bread bowl by itself, you can make, or you can buy just regular old sourdough loaves, loaves and make them about, you know, about this big, about this big, cut a hole about the size of a nice size bowl, um, rip up what you can and then rip out the inside, hollow it out, and there you go. And then you just stick these pieces of bread on the side. So it's really, really great. So there are all different ways to make this, but this just warms me from the inside out. Give it a taste here. Mmm. Oh, God. Oh, mm. Okay, I'm in heaven. Um, even though my heaven is a kitchen and an apartment, I'm still in heaven because I got some great food. So, that's it for this week's Julia Sunday Dinners. I'm Julia, and I hope you had a good time watching, and I hope you make this dish. It's really it's pretty cheap, and really good, and pretty filling. So. See you next time on Foodaholics 101. See ya.